Hello everyone! Today, we're going to discuss linear equation in two variables. Okay? So, someone asked for help. So, I decided to make this lesson. So, we have here an example. x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 17 and x squared minus y squared is equal to 5. So, how do we get x, the value of x and the value of y? So, we have two ways in getting the value of x and y when we talk about linear equation in two variables. First, we have the elimination method. So, I'm going to discuss first the elimination method. Okay, so we're going to name the first one as equation 1, so number 1, and the second as equation 2. Next, look for any of these terms, the first equation and the second equation, which one is easiest to cancel. Okay, when we say elimination, it's more on uh, cancellation. So, Let's remove x or let's remove y. Okay, so I will, I will choose equation number 2. So we're going to multiply equation number 2 with, okay, 2. Positive 2. Why positive? Because this is already positive and negative. Okay, so next... We're going to copy equation 1, x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 17. Next, multiply 2 in our second equation to eliminate y. So we have 2 times x squared equals 2x squared minus 2 times y squared is 2y squared and 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Okay, so let's proceed. Adding these two, we're going to cancel the middle one. Why? Because uh, positive 2y squared plus negative 2y squared is equal to 0. Next, x squared plus 2x squared equals 3x squared. Why? Uh, there is no 1 here, but that is automatically 1. 1 is invisible. So we have 3x squared is equal to 17 plus 10 is equal to 27. Next, we need to divide three both, both sides para uh, ma-isolate si x. So, cancel, cancel. 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. So, x squared. Okay, sorry. So, kung nakikita nyo, uh, squared tayo. That's why we need to put square root root. Okay. So, how to remove this? Okay. So, this square root means that is exponent. The exponent of this is one half. Okay. So, I will explain later on. Square root of x squared is equal to x and square root of 9 is equal to 3. So, our x is 3. Okay, the question, how come that x squared, uh, if you put square root or radical on x squared, it becomes x. Okay, so I'm going to give a short review for that. When we say x squared, and then when we put a radical, this one, this radical sign means one half. Okay, I'll repeat. Radical sign that is an exponent which is base raised to one half. 
So this means one half. There is a two here and one inside. So this means one half. Okay. So if we write, if we put this one, it's it is also written like this: x squared raised to one half. And of course, x two times one, two over two, then cancel 2 divided by 2 becomes 1 so x raised to 1 or simply x because x raised to 1 is usually written like this because any number raised to 1 is uh, the number itself okay so that's how we get the value of x or the x and how about 9 the same when we say 9, square root of 9, so when we say square root of 9, 9 becomes, uh, we can write that in a factor way, so that is 3 times 3 or 3 squared. So if it is 3 squared, if you put square root, so as I mentioned a while ago, that is exponent 1 half, so 3 squared times 1 half then 3 2 times 1 is 2 over 2 so 3 raised to 1 or simply 3 that's why our x squared is equal to 9 just put a radical sign both sides and then we have x is equal to 3 okay so, that's how we get the value of x. Okay? So, before we're going to proceed, uh, I just want to clarify again this one. The radical sign means it is an exponent of 1 half. So, this is how we get the value of x when we put radicals and also the number. Okay? So, we're going to proceed. So, since we have already our x, then we're going to get our y. By how? Okay, so we're going to substitute now the value of x to any of those equation or given equations. Okay? So, ulitin ko, kung nakuha na natin ang value ng x or y, pipili lang tayo ng kahit saan dito sa dalawa okay the original okay original um, equations okay so let's use equation 1 okay so x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 17 okay so, our x is 3. So, substitute 3 in our x. So, change x. Substitute means palitan natin siya. So, si x magiging 3 squared plus 2 y squared is equal to 17. Next, 3 squared means you're going to multiply the base twice. So, when you say, multiply mo daw ang 3 ng dalawang beses. So, 3 times 3 equals 9 plus 2y squared is equal to 17. Copy. 2y squared is equal to 17. And then, transpose 9 over the equal sign. I'll repeat transpose 9 over the equal sign so copy 9 and then change the sign okay so if this is positive this becomes negative okay i will explain later on why next divided by 2 oh sorry um we're going to subtract first before we're going to Divide 17 minus, ok, 
Okay, what happened? Okay, 17 minus 9. Okay, 8. So this becomes 2y squared over 2 over 2. Cancel. Then we have y squared is equal to 4. Okay, the same way, putting a radical sign both sides or square both sides, then we have y is equal to 4. If you have calculator, you can do it with calculator. Okay, so our value for x and y, x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. For the equations x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 17 and x squared minus y squared is equal to 5. Okay, let's go back with this. How come that uh, 9, if you transpose to the other side, it becomes negative 9? Okay, just a short review. So, can I erase this now? So, how come this becomes like this? Okay, so we're going to copy 2y squared plus 9. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? To remove plus 9 here, to isolate this one. Ibig sabihin, para maritain dito sa kabila ito or sa left side, dapat mawala ito. Anong gagawin natin? Kailangan natin siyang, ano man yung number dito with the sign, kopihin lang natin, palitan lang natin ng number. So, kung positive 9 to, mag minus 9 tayo. Pero, kung ano ang dinagdag natin dito, ganun din ang idadagdag natin sa kabila. That's why we have 2y squared plus positive 9 minus 9, 0 na yan, is equal to 17 minus 9 or 8. Okay, ganyan ang pagkuha. Pero, ginagawa natin ang transposing, uh, that is the shortcut method. Okay? Uh, as long as you know how, uh, or what, or how do you get that one, or how, why, I should say, bakit naging negative, Kung positive or kung positive naman or kung negative naman magiging positive. That is the reason why. Okay, so let's have um, another uh, problem. Okay, so we're going to use the same problem using um, substitution. A while ago, we used elimination method. Ngayon, substitute substitution method. Okay, so we have equation 1 and equation 2. So, uh, choose uh, wha what equation uh, ang gagamitin mo to substitute. Okay, for me, I'm going to use equation 2. So, we have here okay, so, substitute x squared Okay. So, equation 2. So, x squared is equal to y squared plus 5. Okay, so our x squared is equal to this one. So using equation 1, we have, okay, dito na lang. So x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 17. Of course, our x squared is y squared plus 5. So y squared plus 5. Ito na siya. Okay, palitan. 
Ang value da ng x squared ay y squared plus 5. So, yung x squared dito, palitan natin nito. Kaya, ito na siya. Okay, pareho lang ang value nito dito. Then, bring down the sign copy. 2y squared is equal to 17. Next, combine like terms. We have y squared and 2y squared. So, y squared plus 2y squared is equal to, copy 17. Okay, this one again. Positive 5. Transpose over the equal sign. It becomes negative 5. Change the sign. Okay, now we have 1y squared plus 2y squared. We have 3y squared is equal to, uh, 17 minus 5 is 12. Divided by 3. Divided by 3. Cancel. Y squared is equal to 4. Square both sides. To remove the exponent. So, Y is equal to. Square root of 4 is 2. Because 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So, y is 2. The same with our elimination a while ago. So, how do we get x? Okay. So, if y is 2, then let's substitute or let's get x by substituting y is equal to 2. So, copy x squared is equal to y is 2 squared plus 5. Then, x squared is equal to 2 squared, or 2 times 2 is equal to 4, plus 5. x squared is equal to 9. Square root. Square root. Then, x is equal to 3. The same with the answers a while ago in our elimination. Okay, so I hope... This is uh, clear or I hope na intindihan ninyo. So, I'll give you two more examples using elimination method. Okay, example number two. We have 3x squared minus 5y squared is equal to negative 5. And uh, 4x squared plus y squared is equal to 116. So, let this one be equation 1, and this will be our equation 2. Okay, so let's look for the number that is easy to eliminate, or mas madaling i-cancel. So, this number, or y, in our y, whole number 5, plus, minus and plus. So, I think uh, we will use equation 2 to multiply... 5. Why 5? Because we want to eliminate this, they must have the same <coughs> number. Okay? So, we have 5. So, just copy equation 1. So, we have 3x squared minus 5y squared is equal to negative 5. Next, multiply 5 with equation 2. So, we have 5 times 4x squared, 20x squared, plus 5 times y squared is 5y squared, and 5 times 116 is equal to <coughs> uh, 500. 80. Okay, next, add. So, since they are the same with unlike sign, so cancel. Then, 20 plus 3, 23x squared is equal to 580 minus 5. They are unlike signs, so subtract. We have 575. Divided by 23, 
para ma-isolate si x squared. Ma-isolate means siya lang mag-isa. Now we have x squared is equal to 575 divided by 23 is equal to 25. Uh, perfect square, perfect square. So, square root, square root. Then, square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is 5. So, our x is 5. Okay. So, kung paano nakuha ito, in-explain ko na kanina. Kung gusto nyo ng more examples for that, I will make uh, another examples next time or I will explain it. Just comment below kung gusto nyo gagawa ko ng video for that. Okay, so since we have already x, now we're going to get the value of y using any of this equation. So, let's use equation 1. So, we have 3x squared minus 5y squared is equal to negative 5. Okay, negative 5. Sorry. Next. Substitute x is equal to 5. So, 3. X is 5. Palitan natin si x dito. Then, copy squared minus 5y squared is equal to negative 5. Next, of course, we're going to follow PEMDAS or order of operation. We will do first the exponent. So, 3 times 5 squared is 25. That means 5 times 5. So, 25 minus 5y squared is equal to negative 5. Next, 25 times 3 is equal to 75 minus 5y squared is equal to negative 5. Next, copy this one. 75 is equal to transpose negative 5y squared over the equal sign. So, it becomes 5y squared. Change the sign to negative 2, positive. And then, the same, negative 5, transpose over the equal sign. So, from negative 5 to positive 5. Okay. So, ginawa ko na siyang ganito. Kasi kung ito ang mariritain sa left, kailangan pa nating mag-multiply mamaya ng negative 1. So, negative yung magiging y natin. So, ganito na yung ginawa ko para hindi na tayo or positive na kaagad ang ating variable. Okay, 75 plus 5 is equal to 80. Is equal to 5y squared all over 5 all over 5 Cancel ang 5. 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. Okay? So, pag kinansal mo siya, ibig sabihin, hindi 0, kundi y. y squared. Okay, sorry. Baba natin. So, y squared. 80 divided by 5 is equal to 16. Okay? So, Square root of y squared, square root of y squared, radicals. Then y is equal to 4. Okay, that's it. So our x is 5 and y is equal to 4 in the equation x 3x squared minus 5y squared is equal to negative 5. And 4x squared plus y squared is equal to 116. Okay, so uh, let's proceed to uh, more examples. So for our example number 3, we have here x squared plus 2xy is equal to 16. 
and xy is equal to 6. Okay, so in here, uh, no need to use elimination. Uh, let's just use substitution, okay? So since we have already xy, which is equal to 6, so let's substitute this in here. So this is equation 1, equation 2. So copy equation 1 x squared plus 2xy is equal to 16. Substitute xy. So, copy x squared plus 2. Ang ating xy ay 6. It's equal to 16. Next, x squared plus 6 times 2, 12 is equal to 16 x squared is equal to 16 transpose positive 12 over equal sign becomes negative 12 x squared is equal to 4 and then uh, put radical sign both sides so x now is equal to 2 okay so our x is 2 sorry Okay, and then if we already get the value of x, then let's get the value of y. Okay, by how? We can use equation 2 or equation 1. Okay, I'll show you uh, why any of the two. Okay, pareho ba ang magiging sagot kung 2 ang gagamitin or 1 ang gagamitin. I mean equation 1 and equation 2. So, Let's try. Okay? So, xy is equal to 6. So, our x is 2. So, x change it with 2. y is equal to 6. So, 2y is equal to 6 divided by 2. And 2 cancel. y is equal to 6 divided by 2 is equal to so our x is 2 and y is equal to 3 okay so to prove that either of the two we have the same answer so let's use uh, equation 1 this is our equation 2 a while ago so equation 1 x squared plus 2xy is equal to 16 so our x is 2, so x squared, just change this one, 2 squared plus 2, x is 2, copy y is equal to 16, then 2 squared is 4 plus 2 times 2, 4, y is equal to 16. So copy 4y is equal to copy 16. Positive 4 transpose over the equal sign becomes negative 4. So 4y is equal to 16 minus 4 is 12 divided by 4 divided by 4. Cancel y is equal to 3. So do we have the same answer? Yes. Okay, so that's how we compute linear equation into variables. Okay, so I'm going to give you one extra. Uh, I'll give you one more. Okay, so we have here 10x squared plus 7y squared is equal to 8. And 11x squared plus 5y squared is equal to Four. Okay, so I think there's no com of common uh, one with our vari variable, so we need to multiply both. Let's eliminate y. Okay, so we're going to multiply both by in here, so we need to multiply by negative 5, and for the second equation, we need to multiply with positive 
7. Okay, so let's start. 5 times 10x squared, negative 50x squared, minus 35y squared, is equal to negative 40. Next, 7 times 11 is 77x squared, plus 35y squared, is equal to 4 times 7 is 20. Eight. Okay, proceed to addition. They are the same with the unlike sign. So cancel. Then negative 50x squared plus 77x squared. We have 27x squared is equal to negative 40 plus 28. We have negative 12. Okay. Next, uh, if you see uh, our answer, or this may be a uh, fraction. So, divisible by 3. Yes. Sorry for that. Okay. So, it is divisible by 3. So, 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. I forget the x. x squared is equal to negative 4. Okay, perfect square. So radical, radical. So this becomes 3x is equal to, okay. So square root of 4 is 2, but if it is negative, let's put i. Okay, so we will discuss that next time. Next, divided by 3. Divided by 3. So our x now is equal to 2i over 3. Okay, so how about our y? Okay, so since we have i in our x, so I think we better use um, elimination also with this, okay, instead of substituting because it's more complicated. So the same way, we're going to eliminate x, so using um, multiplying 10 in the second equation and 11 to the first equation so 11 times the 10x squared we have 110 110 x squared plus 77 y squared is equal to 88 next negative 10 times 11x squared is equal to negative 110x squared, negative times positive, negative 10 times 5, 50y squared is equal to negative times positive, negative 10 times 4, 40. Okay, next, we're going to add. So, the same number, but unlike sign, so cancel, then 50 uh, and 77y squared since they are unlike sign so we're going to copy the sign of the greater value so positive and then subtract 77 and 50 that will become 27 is equal to uh, y squared sorry is equal to 88 minus 40 uh, they have unlike sign so greater uh, sign is positive Okay, 88 minus 40 is equal to, oh wait, sorry. Okay, so 88 minus 40 is equal to, uh, 8 minus 0 is 8, 8 minus 4 is 4, of course, positive. Next, divided by 3, divided by 3, cancel. 27 divided by 3 is equal to 
9. Y squared is equal to 48 divided by 3 is equal to 16. Okay, so divide, no, not divide. So we, we're not going to divide now since this is a perfect square. So let's put radical sign or square both sides. Okay, so square root of 9 is 3. Square root of y squared is y. is equal to square root of 16 is equal to 4. So divided by 3, divided by 3, cancel y is equal to 4 third okay so that's our answer x is equal to 2i over 3 and y is equal to 4 over 3 okay guys that's how uh, to multiply or how to get the the value of x and y using linear equation in two variables I hope you learned something to this video. So, kung may natutunan kayo, paki like and share with your friends. At kung may mga comments po kayo at gusto ninyo i-clarify, i-comment nyo lang po sa comment section. At for more videos, at kung may request ko kayong uh, isolve natin, hanggat kaya ko, gagawin, gagawin ko ng video. And please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Keep safe.